I trained an AI model using personal photos of myself and then used it to generate professional headshots that actually turned out very realistic. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to train your AI model of yourself and then talk a little bit about writing prompts and then finally go over some tips and tricks to make the perfect headshots that are basically very realistic. So I am using this site called Photo AI. So this is one of the AI sites that are out there that you can create models of yourself. Um, I thought this one was really, really good. So I will link it below. So click that and then it will take you here in the video description. And then you can type in your email. And if you do already have access, then it will just send you to your dashboard. But if you don't, you sign in and sign up. I think it was 29-ish dollars for the month. So I'm going to use it for the month and then decide if I want to continue the subscription or not. But 29 bucks to play with an AI model of yourself, not that bad. So click here and then type in your email and then I'll show you what the dashboard looks like. Okay, so once you sign in, you will be given a link from your email that you use to sign up for Photo AI. So here's my model that I trained, but if you wanted to create a new AI character, essentially you'll be prompted in the beginning because you don't have one yet to click this. And then what you'll have to do is upload a ton of photos. So you'll click this new AI character, you'll give it a name, um, type, age, eye color, all the standard stuff. I think I did slim. He gives you an idea of like what photos you can use. So use lots of different angles, use full body shots, use zoom in shots. Um, I'm thinking about training another one that's just headshots because I did get it full body and stuff, but I, I kind of just want to do a bunch of headshots so I can get perfect headshots. But try to do a bunch of variety of photos and try not to use any photos with any other people in them besides you. Avoid sunglasses, hats, hoodies, that kind of stuff. So group photos, it's kind of clear which ones would be good and which ones not, but it's, it's good that it gives you an example. And then you'll click here and upload 20 photos of yourself. So I will show you the photos that I use of myself and it will take around 30. Mine took 30 minutes, but I, mine took around 45 minutes. And so once I finish this, it then emailed me like 45 minutes later saying my model is ready. And then you'll see your model pop up here. So it'll be at the top. So you can see here's, here's my model and then you can start prompting it. So here are the photos I use to train my AI model. So you can see there's lots of variety, full body shots, selfies, me laying in bed sick, a bunch of just general YouTube thumbnail kind of shots that I've done, you know, a couple different angles. This is not an attractive photo, but you know, I didn't follow the rules exactly. Like I have some hats on and my model turned out fine. So don't stress out about it. Just throw a bunch of photos into a file and just upload the entire set and then wait 45 minutes for the email to come back. Now, once it is actually ready for you to prompt it, you'll see a bunch of examples at the bottom. They use a lot of the same ones. So they'll have like you in a bikini, which is like, okay, awkward. Also, I do not have boobs like that. Like that's insane. But they'll have a bunch of you at the pool holding some stuff. I don't know. The women ones are weird. Like they're a little bit too sexual for, for Liz, but I mean, we'll take it. So if you scroll um, through, you can see I've tried a bunch of different poses and stuff like that, but essentially you click your character that you want to use. And then it says how many photos you want to take. I suggest doing one, just do one at a time, just to play around with it. And then, so when you go to write a prompt, you just put write prompt. And then here it says, how many photos you have left to take. So I haven't taken that many photos. I think I've taken 25 total. And then I like landscape because I like YouTube thumbnails. And so here's a good example, a medium portrait, beautiful, sitting at a desk at home, light green t-shirt. So you could do like, like um, uh, any type of t-shirt that you want. So I did light green. So this is the prompt I used for this one. And this one turned out great. Um, slightly, um, slightly small, uh, slightly smiling. You could do, I don't like the big teeth smiling because it did not train well on my teeth. So I suggest using the words medium portrait is really good. Throw in a beautiful, if you're a woman and you want to look beautiful, um, we can do a light gray t-shirt, slightly smiling. Okay. Um, you can remove things. So wrinkles, ugly, curly hair, whatever. And there's some advanced stuff, but I usually don't use any of the advanced stuff. And then you can use a seed, a seed photo. So like if you liked one of these photos, you can use the prompt or you can do a copycat of it in order to get a similar one. So I did a very similar one to this one in order to get a similar vibe. 
And then once you're done prompting it, you, pr you press take one photo and then we'll see what it generates. So it usually takes a couple of minutes and then it will generate a new photo. But you can say anything you want. So you can say, so I wanna be sitting at a desk. I wanna be, you know, standing at a construction site. I wanna be blah. Um, and some of them are interesting. Like for example, this one, I said long hair in order to get from this to this and it added like these extra people in the background. So there are stuff like the background is sometimes not the best. Um, it just doesn't look that realistic. Um, like this one has like three monitor, like that looks like a lamp and then a couple, like these are weird monitors. So, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of playing around with it to get it correct, but we'll see what this generates. So you guys can see a real example. Okay, so it looks like it's done training. So you can look and click this and this is what we have. Now you can see it doesn't look exactly like me, but this is pretty good. We can work with it. The hands, I will say, the hands are always messed up. The hands, backgrounds, but this one's a very clean background. So what you can do now is then you can just download. So I press download. And the best thing to do is to download this and then throw it into a Canva in order to remove the background if you want to use it for a headshot or just crop it in general. So if I pull over Canva over here and I just go into my downloads and I grab that photo and I drop it in here, we can start to play around with it so it looks a little bit more realistic. See, okay. The first thing I noticed is I do not have boobs that big, so I'm just going to, psh, oh, look at that, great. Um, and then you just crop it as much as you want. And we have a decent portrait, right? Like that looks pretty freaking good. So you just have to crop out the bad stuff. You can also go and actually remove the background. So if you click that photo and you go and remove this background, then you'll have something you can kind of put on something else. So I'm, I don't feel like I'm smiling enough, but you can still keep playing around with it more and more and more like that does look like me like that does look enough like me where i could use that for some for a thumbnail or something like that so that's how i would suggest playing around with it as far as removing backgrounds or potentially getting a headshot but again you're just gonna have to go in here generate a bunch of these and see which ones do well which ones don't like this one again i cropped this one because the hands look weird but if you crop it, it doesn't look that bad. So you just have to kind of play around with it. I suggest using large portrait, medium portrait, small portrait. It's really good with the portraits. <laughs> so play around with that. And then these as well, you can emphasize the home office or you can emphasize beautiful if you put them in the parentheses. Uh, but I haven't found much of a difference between them. Now, the last thing you can do is you can actually go into shoots, prompts, um, poses are new as well, um, or look at just at the camera. So we were in the camera view, right? But we can also go to poses and say, oh, let's, I, wanna, I want one of these poses. I haven't played around with the poses too much because they're kind of weird. The prompts are good, so you can steal, you can press use prompt. So if you want something similar to like this photo or this one or this woman, you can use the prompt. Now, this one might be good, a professional model. So like, let's just use that prompt and take one photo using me and we'll see what it looks like. Um, and then there's also shoots. So you could do like a whole photo shoot as well. So there are a couple other features. Now I just like using the camera and just typing it in, but sometimes I go to prompts just to see what other ones look like. And this one actually turned out okay. I mean, look at this one. Like I, the hair looks good, it looks professional. So if we download this one, we can click download and do the same thing we did before where we add a page and then just go into the downloads, drag and drop, and then we can crop to have a nice professional looking photo. So play around with what other people's prompts are, but look at that, that's pretty decent. That's a good AI shot. Now this one looks a little bit more AI generated than maybe the other photos that we have, but still very professional. You could definitely use that. You could use this one and people might not be able to tell the difference. Now I hope this gives you an idea of some of the types of things you can do with AI that could help you like in your business with headshots or just with social media in general. But the other thing that I wanted to show you is any other AI tools that I use. So up here, I will link Scribe. It's an AI SOP generator. So this is more business 
less stepping away from the photos, but more for your business. So it writes your SOPs for you when you give it a description using AI. So go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.